guys, and welcome back to Russ and Karen's podcast. And of course, this is SmackDown at the show. And of course, in addition to WWE, I show to be on the road to Royal Rumble, which is this Sunday only on WWE Network. The link will always be in the description. Well, sometimes, usually half the time it usually is. But um, don't forget that this Sunday, um, I will be doing the Royal Rumble predictions on the podcast, which is on Apple Podcasts. And of course, Spotify and the Podmatic app. The link is always in the description below. The latest one will be in today's video. Um, but I will update the video um, once the, the pr predictions come out. I don't know what I was coming out with that word. But anyways. Um, but leave down below what you look forward to at Boy Rumble. And um, yeah, let's get on to it. And also, you can tell me your prediction too, because I'm always intrigued to see whatever other people's thinking. Alright. Hopefully, by then we get to see, hopefully, by Sunday we get to, like, to see the full idea of what we're expecting, but I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Alright. Let's get on into it. This is SmackDown at the show, and don't forget to smash that subscribe button down below. And also, check out the latest video, which is a thing right here. Check out Raw at the show and uh, check out the eye. Follow us up there as always. The latest gameplay. And of course, it will be down below in the below. Let's get on into it. SmackDown was up with the Usos making the way to the ring before the six man tag match remains against King Corbin and his minions. <laughs> I don't know why I compare them to minions. Minions are cute. <laughs> Anyways. Anyways, um, Roman Reigns and the Usos versus Baron Corbin and Robert Roode and Dolph Ziggler. Raw, uh, Robert. <laughs> I have Robert on my mind, I guess. Roman uh, Reigns and the Usos won. Um, let's see. Michael Cole interviews Lacey Evans after the break and she talks about her father and his fa her father losing his bottle of addiction and depression. Um, eventually, Bailey comes out and attacks Evans from behind and full officials have to pull her off. Um, and eventually Evans ends up attacking Bailey backstage to get revenge before the break. And I'm kind of wondering how this whole match is going to go down at Royal Rebel. Don't get me wrong. I love Lacey. And honestly, I can't stand this whole heel persona, persona for Bailey. Like, the promo, especially last week, that little segment that, in the medical area. You know, you know what I mean? Like the one with Bailey. Um, Banks. Bailey. Jeez, can't think straight today. Anyways, um, so I just like the things she says. Just honestly, just makes one no sense half the time, and two, it never really flows good. And it, honestly, I just don't. Honestly, as her as a heel, just does not make sense. Um, now I'm all for ending the whole. Bailey buddies, but like pushing it and then making it look like crap on TV is just another level. Mm. Anyways, let's get to you on. Let's get to you on. Alexa Bliss and Nikki Cross versus Sonya Deville and then Mandy Rose. Evans calls uh, chases Bailey into the ring and then the ref calls for this qualification. Then we see a brawl between the women, uh, Braun Strowman, Elias versus Shinsuke Nakamura and uh, Sami Zayn. Braun Strowman and Elias won. Can we just note how they've been forgetting about the Intercontinental Championship? Didn't they just get a new one, a new designed one and nothing? <laughs> I mean, at least we saw the, like, the United States Championship get defended. Um, in the latter match, right? But, like, we have not seen the IC title be, like, defended, defended in a while. And, like, I'm so sick of it. Like, are you forgetting that you have that title? <laughs> oh, my God. It's so annoying. I mean, I'm kind of, I was wondering if they were going to have a match between Braun Strowman and Shinsuke at Roy Rumble. But I have heard anything, to be honest. So, unless they, like, do it last minute thing type thing i don't know all right kofi Kingston versus uh john john morrison i was gonna say john cena <laughs> um kofi Kingston won daniel Bryan comes out to the ring to his contract signing the white pierce on the drone and tries to fax it to him ronda vance comes out to the ring ryan uh wyatt ryan 
with Hex Ryan. Why it doesn't seem interested, Brian costs him a coward who does nothing but run. The lights go out and the fiend appears in the ring holding the strap. Brian goes after him, but White puts him in the minimal claw hits and hits um, Sister Abigail. Um, he picks up the strap and uses the whip, uh, uses it to whip uh, Brian repeatedly. He eventually sits down and stops. The contract appears to be with his blood. Literally, it was what it looked like. The show is for Brian recovering as it, the crowd chants yes to him. I really actually am really interested into this match at Boy Bubble. Just because I think it's going to be something different. A different match. A different stipulation. Well, at least it actually came out with one. <laughs> um, I just think it would be interesting and I'm always a treat. It's going to be fun. And honestly, I can't wait to see what happens with Rumble and wonder who will win. I'm kind of still thinking maybe rings, but things can always change. This WWE, let's face it, Brock Lesnar can win. We all can just literally wait for months until it gets close to WrestleMania to know his competitor. Um, it's, a, it's the same for White too. So it's not, you know, it's just like the, you know what I mean? Whoever wins, like if Brock wins, like it's just like, it's kind of up in the air for both titles because whoever wins faces the WWE Champion or the Universal Champion at WrestleMania. So like, you know what I mean? It's kind of weird to be honest. Maybe it's like a winner versus all. You know, like Brock Lesnar versus like The Fiend, winner take all, you know, <laughs> WWE Champion and the Universal Championship on the line. Honestly, I would see WWE doing it, to be honest. I can hear them listen to me. Anyways. Um, rating 77, a great show of matches that we look forward to, a Royal Rumble. And I'll see you guys soon for, uh, next week, of course. And, um, until then, don't forget that this Sunday is, of course, Royal Rumble on only WWE Network. The link will be always in the show below. I'm not sponsored. I wish, but I'm not. <clears throat> or is that 99 cents, WWE? I'm just kidding. Um, seriously. Um. Actually, it's $10. I don't know why I said 99 cents, but mm, I had it in my mind. Anyways, um, <laughs> don't forget the Royal Rumble predictions is coming to Wrestle Wrestling with Owen Karen's podcast, which is on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and Panamatic Gap. The latest link for the latest podcast is in the description below. So go give it a listen. It's the top Royal Rumble matches. So go, go give it a check out. And of course, I'll update the subscription with the new podcast this Sunday. Um, so I'll see you for that. I'll see you guys on the next one. Hope you guys have a great day. Bye. Oh, comment down below what you look for to wear mobile and bye.